say that you have a clip that you've added effects and color correction to, but you want to replace it and you want to replace it fast. Or you've done work on music to adjust the volume and you want to test out a different song, but you don't want to redo the adjustments. Well, regardless of the media that you want to replace, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do so. I'm also going to share a few troubleshooting tips in case you run into ran any random issues like I did. Let's hop into Resolve and replace some stuff. We're in the edit page with a project I've been working on and I've already done work to keyframe my music's volume here. Now I want to see how a different song would sound here without having to redo the adjustments I've made. To do this, we can simply replace the track, but first I want to show you what not to do. So I'll just go in my media pool, select the song I want, click on the replace tool and wait a minute. I didn't want my new song choice to end up on the A1 track and replace my dialogue over here. So what's going on? Well, that happened for a few reasons. Firstly, your replacement media will begin wherever your playhead is. And our A1 track was selected, which is indicated by being highlighted in red. Let's press Command Z to undo that. And let's do things the right way. So bringing our playhead to the beginning of the music track here, let's select our A2 track because that's the track that has the music we want to replace on it. One thing I've got to mention is it seems like there's a glitch going on with the current version of Resolve I'm working in that causes you to not be able to click on different tracks to select them. If this is causing you trouble as well and driving you crazy like it is me, a workaround is you can select the red A1 track and drag it up or down to where you'd like. And there we go. Now the audio two track is selected like we want. Another thing you can do to switch between tracks is on your keyboard, hold down shift command and the up or down arrow to move up or down. <laughs> Another thing you gotta be aware of is you have to have an audio file selected to go between the audio tracks here or a video track selected if you wanna switch between the video tracks. Okay, so back to replacing. With our new song selected here, our audio two track selected and our cursor at the beginning of our song, we can click on the replace tool. And there we go. Our new song with the volume adjustments I made shows up here. Perfect. Now we'll show you another way to replace media. So you have a few different options under your belt. Let's bring our playhead to the beginning of this talking head clip here. Select the new clip we'd like to replace this current one with. Make sure our V1 track is selected move this audio two track up to the A1 track so that it's chosen. And we can drag our new talking head clip over the top of our program window, which is gonna bring up a few different options for us. Hover over replace, let go, and voila. There's our replace clip with the color corrections and effects I had on the older one replaced on it as well. If you want to know our favorite gear that we use on YouTube videos as well as commercial shoots or our favorite hard drive because it's super fast, super small, and super portable, check out the links below. And here are some other videos that would be good follow-ups to this one I highly recommend you check out to take your editing game to the next level. Have yourself a lovely day and we'll see you in the next video.